Woody Goes Belly Up is a fabulous Cheers episode. It's funny, it's thought-provoking. I laughed out loud so hard at one particular moment. I truly adore this episode. This is the second episode of the fourth season of Cheers, directed, of course, by the wonderful James Burroughs. And there will be huge, huge spoilers as I go through the narrative. Usually, chronologically, I might jump around a little bit, but generally my thoughts are going to be in the order that they occurred. And the first thought is that I think it's a really great idea to have an episode, a story focusing on Woody in the second appearance. His first episode was the previous episode, the opening to season four. Then we're launching straight in with a story about Woody to get to know him in a little bit more detail. And I think that that was a fabulous decision. And it is a really great introduction to Woody. We do have a few small bits with other characters, namely Fraser, Sam and Diane, but I'll get to those in due course. The opening I thought was pretty great. Non remembers that it's his anniversary with Vera. He hasn't got her anything. They're discussing what to get her. He ultimately lands on uh, an ashtray and it was a, a nice, funny, light-hearted way to kickstart the show. Things get a tiny bit heavier after the intro where we have Sam reluctantly telling Fraser that his bar tab is now at $500. And Fraser realises something has to change. He's still not in a good place after what happened with Diane, so he decides he's going to sweep the floors for Sam, partly because he wants Diane to feel for him. And throughout the episode, pretty much every time we see Fraser, he's sweeping the floors. And it's funny, it could have been heavier, they could have done something more serious with the darkness that Fraser was feeling, but at this point they went with the comedy and I think it worked really, really well. We do have Diane back behind the bar now, which is just wonderful to see. And she has a very casual, light-hearted relationship with Sam. There's no tension there, there's this beautiful moment. It's actually a little later on but it's going to be the thumbnail for this video because it's gorgeous, where Woody refers to them, Sam and Diane, as his friends. And there's this moment where Sam briefly looks at Diane, but the way he's looking at her is just so, so beautiful that I had to make it the thumbnail for this. We learn after a woman is flirting with Woody, a woman called Lisa, played briefly by Elizabeth Kiefer, Woody is not very comfortable around women. <laughs> and Cliff, Cliff talks about how he's going to go cruising for chicks and that he will invite Woody on his, and I quote, Clavin love safari. And the, the hope there is that Woody will become more comfortable around women. But Woody actually reveals that he had a girlfriend called Beth back in Indiana, but they wanted different things. He wanted to travel. So they went their separate ways. And... Diane, with everybody else's support, decides to surprise Woody by collecting Beth, Beth Curtis, played by Amanda Weiss or Amanda Weiss, uh, from the airport to surprise Woody. And this was a really lovely thing to do. And I think Woody's reaction is also very telling about the kind of person he is, because had it been any other character, I think there might have been that moment of hesitation where they weren't sure how they felt about it. But Woody had nothing but gratitude for what Sam and Diane did. He never felt like they were meddling in his affairs. He never felt like they went behind his back and, you know, interfered with his relationships. He was just thankful, grateful for what they did. And I think that is so telling about his personality. We also learned that both of them were a lot heavier than uh, they are currently. Beth actually reveals... <laughs> <laughs> Beth reveals she lost 50 pounds and Diane says that's wonderful and then she turns around <laughs> this is the bit that I laughed at like almost cry laughed at it was so <laughs> I'll, I'll get through it um where Diane turns around and the delivery Shelley Long was amazing the delivery when she turns to Norman and says Norman isn't that wonderful <laughs> Just the implication there that Beth lost 50 pounds. Hey, Norman, why don't you give it a go? Uh, Norman's response was was brilliant, but it just, it, it amused me so, so much. And the fact that they they are both hungry immediately 
is a, is a bit of a warning sign for the others in Cheers. Now, to be honest, I didn't think it was that strange. If somebody's just been on a, a flight for ages, then even if they ate on the plane, it's reasonable to be quite hungry when you land because you might not have had a very satisfying meal. But nevertheless, the gang at Cheers are a little bit concerned that they're both eating uh, a lot. And they confront Woody about this. And we have a scene where Diane is kind of trying to analyse the situation, but let's remember that Fraser, the sweeping psychologist, as he's called, is also in the bar and is obviously in a much more professional place to try and work out what's going on and why Beth and Woody both feel this constant need to eat in each other's presence. And I'll get to that in a moment, but I just want to share one quote from Fraser that also made me laugh out loud. It's not so much the quote, but the delivery of the line from Kelsey Grammer. It's where Diane tells Fraser that if he's sweeping just to try and make her guilty, he needs to stop it. And Fraser turns around and it's not going to be as funny coming out of my mouth, but he says, don't flatter yourself, your highness. And the way he spits those words at her, it's just, it's so funny. And then Shelley Long's facial expression <laughs> in response certainly um, made me laugh. And when they kind of collectively as a group begin to analyse Woody, Fraser comes to the conclusion that it could be because they have a, a no sex before marriage rule, which is fair enough, but they've replaced that lust for one another with a lust for food, with that indulgence, and it's kind of taking the place of the sex they would be having, which I thought was really thought-provoking. Sam also raised a, a really interesting point that I thought was really important and he mentioned that he has some drinking buddies that he just can't spend time with because if he's with them, he wants to drink. And I like the fact that this analogy is being discussed around this. I don't want to use the word food addiction because that's not quite what's going on with Woody and Beth here. But certainly it's comparing drinking with how effective or how damaging food consumption can be if it gets out of hand. And I really like that they were kind of discussing the same things within the same context. And I really appreciated that. I thought it was a, a very sensible and very eye-opening approach. But they do land on the fact that they are replacing sex with food. And Diane asks Woody if he'll go for dinner with her and she'll teach him how to eat a, a light meal that will still leave him feeling satisfied. Woody is all for it. And he invites Sam along. And there's that moment of hesitation where they realise Sam and Diane might end up going on what would appear like a date together. And then cut to the restaurant. And we have this delightful scene where the broccoli wasn't very fulfilling. And Woody and Beth end up discussing the thing they shouldn't discuss or the thing they don't want to discuss. But they both realise that actually they both want to discuss it. And it's very clear that they both want to do more than just discuss it. And off they go. And we have this gorgeous moment between Sam and Diane where they're alone in the restaurant. The restaurant scene is really gorgeous and they're wearing, you know, really nice clothing. And it's just visually, it's really beautiful to look at. But then we get a, a close up on both of their faces side by side, very close to each other reminiscing about their first time together and how good things could be on some occasions and there's definitely something lingering something positive something beautiful not the usual negative tension we get with them at least in previous seasons but something very beautiful hanging in the air between them and they both realize that so they don't start something they'll regret the only thing they can do is gorge and they do, and they order a lot of food. And that's how we end the episode. Really, really thoroughly enjoyed this. Several very funny moments. <laughs> Just the way, I mean, the audacity Diane had to turn around and say that to Norm. But it was so, so funny. And, uh, yeah, Carla as well. Carla telling Fraser to mind his own business when he scrubbed all of her mobile numbers, uh, her cell phone numbers off of the, the bathroom walls. Very well written. Very funny, entertaining episode with some... Really great moments with some really good food for thought to perhaps want for a better phrase. Without question, Woody Goes Belly Up is a pretty perfect episode of Cheers. <laughs>